It all began as a vision, a vision of a bishop for a people with a long, rich history of mission work. When leaders of over 800 United Methodist churches met in conference in 2001, Bishop Neil Irons shared the idea of a mission center, a hands-on kind of place where persons could be the hands and the feet of God in service. The bishop appointed 35 persons to a task force with a single purpose. In one year, come back with a name, a plan, and a place to make the vision a reality. Um, they decided to be three areas that we would focus on primarily. Mission education would be a place where people could come and learn about ministries. A place for mission outreach, which would be a warehouse of some type, and we would collect stuff and send stuff. And the last part would be disaster response, since we live in an area that we do have some flooding here in the Susquehanna Valley, uh, that we would be more uh, closely aligned to respond for, for disasters. So those were the three primary areas. The location for the suggested name Mission Central would be a new building adjacent to the conference center on Mulberry Drive. It would cost three and a half million dollars to buy land and build the building. Mission Central would open in June of 2004. Now the fact that we've been here since 2002 would say is something changed from those plans they came up with. Two months before the plan and drawings were to be presented to annual conference 2002, Bishop Irons drove to work using a different route because a bridge was out. He passed a building on Pleasant View Drive with the sign for lease. Even though the building was not for sale, Bishop Irons got permission from the owners for the task force to compare their plans with a real building. So we looked at the building that night and we got back to the, and found out that a lot of things in the building were exactly what we wanted. The building was twice as big as we had planned and we wanted high ceilings, we wanted drop-down electricity, we wanted it to be air-conditioned and heated, we wanted double doors into the warehouse, and the night we came in here, we found that room exactly to the same size as we had on paper, and with all those special things that we thought were special were already there. So the task force spoke with the two owners. While the two men were not United Methodists, they were very active in missions in their faith communities. Mission Central was explained to them in detail. This building was twice as large as what we were going to build, which would cost us three and a half million dollars. So we were somewhat concerned about the price. Uh, they got back to us the next day and said they were going to offer us the building for $2.45 million, a million dollars less than it would cost us to build a place half as big up the street. It sits on a larger piece of property in a much bigger building. And they committed to give us $245,000. So the task force decided to trade their work of eight months for approval of a plan that had all the appearance of being a miracle of God for approval. A grant of $200,000 from the Conference Board of Global Ministries brought the proposal down even further. In June 2002, the purchase of 5 Pleasant View Drive was miraculously approved. It was assumed that Mission Central would open in October of 2002. Three weeks later, the purchase was settled. Mission Central opened June 28, 2002, two years early. Uh, the building was empty, and except for the computer on my desk, we have spent $330 for the materials that are in here. That's all. Everything else has been donated, all the furniture, the office furniture. It all came from people who knew about Mission Central uh, and then contacted someone to say, hey, do you have this item or that? An example would be the desks. They came from a company in Massachusetts that had an office in Harrisburg to do medical billing. Mission Central has been involved with every major disaster since 2002. The disaster response part of the original triple purpose goal is met continually. Missionaries come here and provide programming. Mission displays are always changing for United Methodist Ministries and non-United Methodist Ministries. A decision was made early on that Mission Central would be ecumenical. Work with ministries both denominational and non-denominational is very intentional. We're going to walk out in the warehouse and I'm going to show you some of the ministries that are here. Those things that are on there now are flood buckets and things like that for, for Umcor. Now The stuff behind over here is a pro Project Cure. That's from Colorado. We do a lot of cooperative things here. Um, the, this material right here that say FFCM on them, that's for the Fruit Belt Farm Workers Christian Ministry. And we average about 20 to 25 volunteers a day 
during a disaster, we're closer to 50. Um, our volunteers, we are basically a volunteer-driven organization. I'm the only full-time staff person here. We have, we have two part-time people, and our volunteers do all, all the work. Unlike a lot of ministries of our type, we don't have an age cutoff for volunteers. So our youngest has been two years old, and our oldest that we know of has been 94. Uh, this is an example of health kits from UMCOR. Uh, UMCOR is United Methodist Committee on Relief, and we work on all those kits. This time of year, we try to have about 2,500 flood buckets here because we're getting ready to go into the hurricane season. One of the things which we have done now uh, since actually February of last year, we are now have hubs. You may have heard about those. We have eight hubs now, uh, seven in Pennsylvania. One, our seventh one's going to open in our conference uh, shortly. Um, and that'll be up in the Wellsboro District. Uh, but we have four in the State College District, um, and we have uh, two north of that. We have one in uh, New, York's, New York State now, in Cortland, New York, right off of 81. The group was here last week from uh, West Virginia, and they're now considering very seriously of opening one in West Virginia. We're also talking to people in Massachusetts and the Eastern and Western Pennsylvania conferences. So our goal is, uh, really, we'd like to have a hub in every conference of the Northeast jurisdiction by 2012. And a hub is basically a mini Mission Central. This area back here is Bethesda Missions Food Ministry. Um, they were the first ministry that contacted us once we got this building. The bikes, uh, we started collecting bikes. We use those locally. And tomorrow, a group called Bikes for the World will be here and take the rest of the bikes which we have. So. This is our sewing room, and this is where we make school kit bags. And that area down there is the computer ministry, um, and they collect computers, uh, previous generation computers. They have uh, seven volunteers now that uh, revitalize those. They're now a licensed uh, refurbishing center for Microsoft. And what we've learned is our ministry really to the people that come in the door. Um, both the churches who come here to serve and the people who are coming here to get things. The boxes are a means, but the real ministry is to the people.